I have not gone out to sketch for quite a long time, so it's really, really good to go out there. Uh, Dunlop Street in Singapore, somewhere near Little India. Uh, we were going to sketch with the other weekend sketches. Uh, this is the group that I've been sketching with today. Uh, lovely ladies. Uh, and I had uh, the chance to sketch, um, you know, just one sketch before breakfast. Um, and then I was sketching the mosque. Uh, the Abdul Ghaffur Mosque uh, was built, I think, somewhere around 1907. Uh, uh, there was some restoration that was done. Um, and uh, it is actually around the area of Kampung Kapoor. Uh, it used to be uh, an active uh, place where Indian merchants, uh, you know, basically built their businesses. And it was very close to the old race course. Uh, 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 around Farrer Park in Singapore. So that's where uh, we're going to sketch today. And actually, there's still a lot of uh, Indian merchants around, but of course, the businesses have changed over the years. Uh, I guess this mosque was to serve the Muslim Indians uh, in the area. Uh, it actually has a very nice uh, sort of um, uh, mosque uh, you know, design and uh, a little bit different from many of the mosques that you find in Singapore. Um, so I'm going to sketch the top part of the mosque. Okay, so I've sketched uh, the mosque. I did not manage to have the video footage of the actual sketch itself, but I'm going to show you how I intend to color it. Um, the first off, I'm going to do the sky. The idea is to make the mosque uh, popped into the front. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a patch of blue and red um, using cobalt and uh, quinacridone uh, rose uh, to, to push uh, the buildings to the front by creating a single piece or mimicking a single piece of cloud uh, or sky at the back. As you can see, if I can make uh, the sky looks like it is, it is uh, one piece, even though there are many, many shapes and pieces uh, that I have painted uh, from the left to the right, um, and you could see that by making it look like it, as if it is one piece, uh, the illusions of space, in other words, the moss in front, the sky at the back, uh, is a little bit more uh, pronounced. So when you are painting sky, just be careful. Don't make it look like there are multiple pieces, but they are a single, continuous, contiguous uh, sort of uh, shape. Uh, if you like, that makes it uh, looks like uh, as if uh, it is the sky and the building in front. I'll leave a link to the photograph of the reference uh, photo of this mosque in the description below. Uh, feel free to sketch it as well, uh, wherever you are in the world. Um, and if you like, uh, you can also tag me in your Instagram uh, at WeTake uh, or um, just uh, send it to me. I'm happy to give you a short critique of it uh, if you like. Okay, back to this uh, sketch. Uh, I have mixed a bit of uh, uh, light green uh, with a bit a touch of cobalt thrown in to make it um, not so greenish. It's kind of like a slightly bluish green if you like. Um, and that goes to uh, the parts where you can see uh, the colors being applied. Um, and uh, I don't really intend to make, uh, you know, make it too difficult or too complex. Uh, just give it a sense of uh, it being Abdul Ghaffur. The other thing to note is that uh, the color is of slight beige, well, slightly yellowish beige, if you like, uh, uh, you know, color. Uh, but I intend to just leave it white um, and uh, not put any color for uh, the main building itself. Uh, so the green and the white suffice to give it uh, the characteristics of uh, this mosque. Um, you know, there's a, actually a lot of artistic license <laughs> being applied. Uh, sometimes I, I take liberty at the color. And in this case, I certainly did with a large dose of it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to try to apply um, shadows. Um, and again, it's more like small touches of uh, shadows, not going to be crazy. I've actually noticed that I made some mistake. As you can see that there's a little hole uh, of the uh, mosque where I have applied the sky color, uh, a little bit of a blue. That's a mistake. I'm going to try to patch it uh, shortly. 
Again, the idea of the shadow is not to go crazy, but uh, I mixed uh, a neutral color. You can get any neutral color by mixing complement. So if you have blue, put in a bit of uh, brown. If you have red, put in a bit of green. Uh, you get some sort of a neutralized uh, neutral, and that could be your uh, shadow color. So this is what I did. As you can see, the light, the sunlight is hitting from the right hand side. So shadows are basically on the left hand side of the turrets as well as the buildings. And uh, this is all you need to do just to give you a sense of three dimension and form uh, to put in where the shadows uh, appropriately according to how you see the light hit uh, is hitting uh, the building. And so I've, as you can see, I've applied uh, the uh, darkened shadows to cover up my mistakes of the hole in, uh, <laughs> with a blue uh, where I've originally put uh, a hole in, uh, in the building, covered it up, and now it makes, to make it look uh, as part of the building now, it's uh, shadowed. Uh, so I think that's it. That's basically the little shadows that, that I want to, to apply. So finally, I'm going to go in to put in some opaque uh, yellow uh, on the uh, you know, like the top of uh, the mosque, um, the accessories or the the moon and the, the crescent and the star. Um, and that's it. A little bit of touch up. And I think we're done for this simple, simple sketched. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of time this morning, but uh, I'm really glad that I could go out and sketch with the weekend sketches. And uh, sometimes it's, you know, just got to get a sketch in uh, even when you don't really have time. And this took me roughly around 30 minutes, but uh, I really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. Till the next one, goodbye.